Hello students, in this video we'll begin our discussion of coloring graphs and using Ramsey's theorem. So we have the following result, and this is the Ramsey theory. States that given a coloring of the edges of a graph with two colors, let's say maize and blue, can we find a subgraph, a complete subgraph, that is only either maize or blue, right? And that's called monochromatic, right? So that's the basic idea of a question. So what Ramsey's theorem does is that basically Ramsey's theorem talks about this question with respect to complete graphs, right? And so let's, what's Ramsey's theorem state? It states the following. So Ramsey's theorem. Given, let's put it this way, there is for a pair of natural numbers P and Q there is a smallest natural number N which we're going to R of P and Q such that any coloring of Kn by maize and blue. Edges has either a monochromatic, let's say it's going to be a maze in this case, either a maze Kp or a blue KQ. So there's a monochromatic subgraph of either of those orders over here. That's the Ramsey theorem. And of course, it's not even clear that this number exists, right? But let's do some examples to figure out when the, what, this, what this number actually is, right? So a couple examples of this theorem over here, and in further videos, we'll actually prove this video. So here's an example. Let's look at R of 2 and just say a number. I'll just say, um, let's just say 3, for example. I claim that this is equal to 3. So I, I K3 in order for this to work, right? And so, well, how do we prove this is the case, right? So the proof of this is, is sort of simple, right? So let's say that these are my, let's say that that was my maze and that was my blue, right? Then let's look at this graph over here. Then this graph over here, which is just a solid blue, so this K2 over here, this is a version of K2, but this is a blue K2, right? So this is a blue K2, but this blue K2 does not contain a K2, which is maize, or a K3, which is blue, right? It only has a K2 blue. So this example over here shows that R23 has to be bigger than two, right? I need at least more, I need a complete graph with more than two vertices in order for this to be, be true, right? And so now let's draw a triangle over here. So let's prove that's actually equal to three, right? So here's the situation. So I have three vertices. That's going to be my K3. One of two things can happen. Either every edge could be blue. That's the first situation. And in this case, there's a K3 blue, which is what we would need, right? Or not every edge is blue. And if not every edge is blue, what would happen? You have a situation like this. Not every edge is blue, but in this case, you have a what? You have a K2 maze, right? And uh, so, of course, you can have edges. As long as there's one, um, one edge which is maze, and you're going to find a K2, because because an edge is automatically a K2, right? So this proves over here, this configuration proves that R23 is equal to 3. In fact, this generalizes over here. In fact, this generalizes to that R2 and N is equal to N. You can run the same sort of argument over here. Either you have a monochromatic version of KN, or if it's not monochromatic, there has to be at least one edge over there that b basically violates the principle, right? So this is a one of the most elementary Ramsey numbers. And let's do a non-trivial example of this next. So the non-trivial example, 
which is a fun one, is r of 3 and 3, right? I claim that r of 3 and 3 is equal to 6, okay? So I need to show that r of 3 or 3, it's the minimal number. I can show that it's bigger than 5 at least, right? So here's what we're going to do. So I'm going to draw a the vertices of a pentagon, right? And I'm going to color the outside edges of this pentagon over here maze, right? Maze, 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 and maze. And I'll cover the interior edges of this K5 blue, right? So I'm going to have blue over here. That's blue. That's blue, right? That's going to be, let's go over here. That's going to be blue. It's going to be blue. And then that's going to be blue, right? So what's K3? K3 is a triangle. So can I find any monochromatic triangles, right? Well, of course, these, um, these outside edges of this pentagon over here are what? The outside edges of the pentagon are all colored maze. Whereas if I look at, say for example, we looked at this triangle over here, this triangle over here, that K3, what? That K3 does not contain, is not monochromatic blue, right? By looking at the outside, there's no monochromatic mazes, and the inside, there's no monochromatic um, blues. Now you might say, well, there's a triangle over here, but that doesn't, that's not connecting vertices. That's the intersection of some of those edges. So that's not a ver the intersection of the edges inside here is not a is not a vertex, right? So there's no monochromatic. So there's no monochromatic K3 maze or K3 blue. Okay, so I couldn't find either a monochromatic K3. Maze or K3 blue, right? And so now how do we prove that's actually so? In other words, that shows that K the R33 is bigger than five. I need at least some, I need at least six. Now how do we prove that's actually equal to six? Well, here's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna fix a vertex over here. So let's fix a vertex in K6. And this vertex in K6 goes to one. Two, I'm just going to draw it sort of, I'm going to represent the graph in sort of a strange way. So it's going to go to five other vertices, right? Okay. So of these five vertices, at least two of them have to, at least three of them, let's think about this. So of these, so that's fixed over there. Let's go, that's V. At least what? Well, let's think about what situations we could have. We could have all of them the same color. We could have one of them a different color. We could have two of them a different color. We could have three of them a different color. But if three of them are a different color, right, then what would happen? Then, if three, then that would say that they, the two of them were the same color, right? So in other words, of these three, we can use the pigeonhole principle. So by the pigeonhole principle, So of course, let's, let's think about what would happen over there. We could have something like this. We could have maze, 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 right? We could have maze, 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 blue, or maze, 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 blue, blue, or maze, maze, then blue, blue, blue. So every time we look at a configuration, at least three of them are gonna have the same color, right? So at least three have the same color. At least three. Okay, let's call that same color blue, okay? So in other words, I have these three blue edges in this map over here, three blue edges. There's my blue. So let's suppose that without loss of generality, that's blue. Of course, since it's three and three, I can either focus on maze or blue, right? Blue and then blue, okay? Now, of course, each of these three vertices, these vertices over here, let's say that's A, B, and C, a, B, and C all connect to each other, right? So A, B, and C are all going to connect to each other. So we have this blue, blue, and blue. A, B, and C. Now, if any connection, how many connections are there between A, B, and C? You could have a what? You have A and C. You have A and B. And you have B and C over there. So of those three other edges, of these three edges, of these, well, let's think what we can have. We can have maze, maze, maze. Well, then I, if, I, if they were all maze, I would have a maze triangle, which is a K3. Otherwise, I have at least one blue, right? So either they, they're all maze. In that situation, you have a what? If I have A, B, and C are maze, then I have a maze triangle, and that gives me a K3, that's maze, right? Or one blue. 
and if we at least one of them is blue, I have another what? I have another K3 maze. So by the pigeonhole principle, I can conclude that if I have any, if I have a K6, then on K6 there must be a monochromatic triangle in K6 for any coloring of maze in blue. So that proves that the Ramsey number 33 is equal to six. So in any complete graph with six vertices, there must be a monochromatic triangle if you color the edges by two colors, maize and blue. Thank you very much.